सुस्वागतम सर्वे रामानुज दया पात्र ज्ञान वैराग्य भूषण श्रीमद्वेकनाथार्य वंदे वेदात श्रीमाकनाथार्य कविताकिकेसरी वेदाताचार्यवर्यो मे सन्धत्ता सदा हृदय let me recite the first verse of prabhava paddhati of sri paduka sahasram of sri vedanta deshika vande tad ranganathasya manyam padukayo yugam unnatanam avanatihi natanam yatra cha unnatihi so we have seen a few verses from prabhava paddhati so we go to the next verse namely <clears throat> 21 so let me recite for the sake of participants the full verse in the beginning and uh, after the explanation also बलि मथन विहारात्मेदेशम and we now go through the third chapter namely the prabhava paddhati the greatness of the divine sandals of sri ranganatha the author refers to many incarnations in this poem great poem and you understand very easily in from the first quarter bali mathana viharat विष्णु to kashyapa the sage and aditi the mother so he became to be called or he came to be called upendra because kashyapa and aditi aditi are the parents of all gods so indra being the god of gods so now we call vamana as upendra indra indra is younger brother उपेन्द्रो वामन प्राशु रमो घुचिजिता विश्वसनाम से दीज नेम्स सो वाट हेपन आल ऑफ यू नो दट महाबली चक्रवर्ती हेड टू बी सब्ड बै फॉर हिस् प्राइड बलि मथन विहारा सो इन दी स्पोर्टफुल इनकारनेशन as a dwarf and then after asking the three footsteps of earth from mahabali during the performance of sacrifice uh, mahabali offered the gift though not advised by his guru shukracharya uh sandhyavali his wife poured water on his hand and then he submitted but as you know vamana could measure only with just two steps all the 14 worlds of this universe and then he could not find the third step so when he asked him mahabali said i am now humble so i prostrate at your divine feet i bow my head and therefore vamana placed his divine foot on his head is all that we know so mali mathana vihara 
So Mahabali Chakravarti, as I told you earlier also, that we, we list him under seven people who are the long-lived ones. Chiranjeevi. Ashwatthama Balihi. He comes second. Ashwatthama Balir Vyasaha. Hanumancha Vibhishanaha. Kripaf Parashuramascha Sapta Yete Chiranjeevi Naha. So what happened to this dwarf, see, dwarf form of Vamana, namely Vardhamanasya Vishnu. He was growing and growing and growing and there was no end to it also. So what happened was the divine feet of Lord Vamana who turned into Trivikrama so called by the name, namely three steps he actually begged from Mahabali Chakravarti. Akhila Mati Patadbi. So the divine feet fell on all the objects without any exception. Just like the moonlight falls on the entire world without distinguishing between the good and the bad people. So Akhila Mati Patadbi. So when he stepped like this, made two strides, a big foot placed. So Vikramaihi, Apramaya, he was unlimited in greatness. Lord's supremacy over all the worlds, that is, he is omniscient and omnipotent and omnipresent where recognized by this Trivikrama form. Therefore, he is called Apramaya. Impossible to measure his greatness. So, Avadhim Anadhi Gachan. So, what happened now? There is a proposition now. He says, Lord, I mean, Vedanta Deshika, the author says, he is so, is so humble. Not like Mahabali or unlike Mahabali, he did not first feel proud and then now he, he has humility. He is from the beginning, he is humble, so he is modest. And then he says, Madhiyaha Paparashi, my burden of sins, my heap of sins. So they are, the sins are unlimited in number. I have a big bundle of sins. And though this bundle of sins exceeds the limit of the divine feet of the Lord. Avadhim Anadhigachan. Whereas my heap of sins become limited because of the greatness of the divine sandals. That's what it is. Though my burden of sins was greater than the quality and the quantity of the Lord, of the greatness of the Lord, now they have come down. Avadhim Anadhigachan. It did not transgress the limit because Tvan Mahimna Samajani. It became Savadhi. My sins are limited now. So my sins have been removed now. Savadhi, they are now little compared to their earlier status. Tvan Mahimna He Padarakshe. Oh, the divine sandals. So, Tvan Mahimna, by your greatness, by your blessings, by your kataksha, the look, the blissful look, uh, Mama pa Madiyaha Paparashihi Savadhi Janani Samajani. My bundle of sins has become lean. They are nothing now. So, we understand the greatness. So, just like the greatness of the divine feet of the Lord, <coughs> which extended into the entire world in the incarnation as Trivikrama, so we understand from the mouth of Sri Vedanta Deshika in this Padukasa from Prabhava Paddhati in verse number 21 that suddenly there is a, once there was a glut of my sins, now there is a there is no sin now. All the sins have been dismissed. So we go to the 22nd verse. Now before going to the 22nd, I would also recite again this 21. 
बलिमथन विहारा वर्धमान से विष्णु रखिल मति पतत भिर विक्रमी रप्रमेय अवधि मन अधिगच्छन पापराशिर मदी यजनि पद रक्षे सवधिस्वन महिन्ना तट भुवि यमुनायाषा भजति निगम शाखा वैभव नीप शाखा पद कमल तत्दुके रंग भक्ई भजति विभूति पश्य शाखा नुशाख Let me recite the second half again. Pada kamala midam tat padu ke ranga bhartus tvai bhajati vibhutim pashya shaka nushakam. Now those who have come and worshipped the divine sandals of Sri Ranganath of Sri Rangam would have felt that they are very much blessed. when the shatari is placed by was placed by the priest of the temple on the devotee's heads now vedanta deshikar recalls another incarnation which is dear to all namely lord uh, incarnation as lord krishna so there was a great trouble to the gokulam to the cowherds and cowherdesses of the gokulam the cow pen and also the cattle the cows the bulls the goat sheep the buffaloes and bulls so all were troubled by the poison of the snake called kaliyan and its family kaliyan occupied the river of yamuna and made it impossible for all these uh, residents of gokulam to take bath peacefully without being affected by the pollution of the river the river was polluted by the poison of kaliya the snake and therefore so what did he do what did lord krishna do krishna climbed up a tree called neepa neepa is otherwise called kadamba tree a tree which puts forth the flowers so neepa shakha so he got into the branch and branch of the tree called neepa otherwise called kadamba in sanskrit so when he put his foot or other feet with along with this divine sandals on the tree other branch then what happened so yan niveshat so nigama shaka vaibhavam bhajati neepa shaka so there any object that touched by the lord's uh, divya mangala vigraha will always become so great that the greatness will be immeasurable and therefore kadamba shaka the tree called kadamba the branch of the tree called kadamba had the glory of all the branches of the scriptures you can even say the tree became wise by as though studying the all the scriptures available nigama scriptures shaka the branches of the scriptures For example, Sama Veda has got thousand branches. So, Sagastra Shakho Panishad. So we call it it as that. The Sama Veda is called as the Upanishad, which has got thousand branches. So, any any object, why not a tree? A tree is an insentient being, a chetana. It has no mind to think. but normally we must understand that any object associated clo- associated closely with the lord will become the lord himself like possessing all the auspicious qualities nigama shaka vaibhavam bhajati so the kadamba tree became as wise as possessing all people possessing all the scriptural knowledge why how did it become so 
Yanniveshat, because of the foot or the divine feet placed by Lord Krishna, along with the divine sandals. Where was the tree? Tatabhuvi, on the bank of the river. Which river? Yamuna Yaha. You can also say the river was black in color because of the poison. So Yamuna Yaha Tastushi Yanniveshat. The Kadamba tree was standing on the bank of the river Yamuna. And this Kadamba tree branch was used by Lord Krishna to jump over the snake Kaliya. So Tatabhuvi Yamuna Yas Tastushi Yanniveshat. Bhajati Nigama Shakha Vaibhavam Nipa Shakha. So in, in this, what you find is, because of the greatness of the divine sandals, the Kadamba tree also became equal to the wisdom of all the scriptures in its all branches. And therefore, he says, so I must also grow in knowledge of scriptures. I must study and understand scriptures. Pashya, look at it. So look at the advantage that you get by worshipping the divine sandals of Ranganatha of Sri Rangam. So, Tvai Bhajati Vibhutim. So as soon as you are worship the divine sandals and the priests place the shatari on the head of the devotees, we find that we become more and more wise every day. And we, are, we get the wisdom, we acquire the wisdom of the scriptures also, little by little. And we become complete in, and become wise. So, Pashya, please have a look. Please experience it by coming to Siranga. Keeping the Shatari on the head by the priest, you get blessed by the divine sandals. And therefore, so I want to have a link with you, O Paduka. Tat Paduke. Why? Because the divine feet, Padakamalam, the lotus like divine feet, Idam Padakamalam, this pair of divine feet are the source of the scriptures. Nikama Shaka Vaibhavam Padakamalam. So it has the glory. The divine feet are adored by the scriptural sentences everywhere. And therefore, Tadvishno Paramam Padakum Sada Pashyanti Surayaha. This is one of the illustrations from the scriptural sentences adoring the divine feet. So, Padakamalam Idam, whose divine feet? Ranga Bhartuhu, Ranganatha. Bharta, the master, Ranga, the stage, the town the whole world. So, Ranga Bhartu. So, where, is, where, is the, where are the divine feet? Tvai Bhajati. Because the divine feet are attached closely to the divine sandals. This is what Vedanta Deshika wants us to understand. Tvai Bhajati. So, when it touches you, when the pair of divine feet touches you, the divine pair of sandals, then Shakha Nushakam Bhajati. You find that uh, the knowledge of anybody who comes and worships the divine sandals increases by leaps and bounds. So let me recite once again uh, the verse 22. Tatabhuvi Yamunaya Tastushi Yannivesad Bhajati Nigama Shakha Vaibhavam Nipa Shakha Padakamalam Idam Tat Paduke Ranga Bhattus Tai Bhajati Vibhutim Pasya Shakha Nushakam. Now, Vedanta Deshika's mind includes also the Dravida Veda, the scriptures in Tamil, namely the 4000 Divya Prabandhas of the 12 Alvars Apostles of Sri Vaishnavism. And therefore, Shakha Nushakam. So, the one branch of the Scripture begets another branch of the scriptures. And these Sanskrit scriptures became, I mean, 
the Tamil scriptures also in the words of uh, Ramarva. Because he is called Dravida Veda Sagaram, Sagastra Shakopanishad Samagamam. This is one of the expressions in the Tanian of Namarvar. Namarvar, you know, who wrote or blessed us with Tiruvaimuri. Tiruvaimuri is the Tamil scripture which we now uh, add because of the uh, mind of Sri Vedanta Deshika in this Prabhava Paddhati, in this particular verse. So, Shakha and Shakha. So, Shakha is the main branch of the tree, namely Sanskrit scriptures. Anushakha is the um, Tamil scriptures called Divya Prabandha. So, we go to 23. So, you can always you are ask for clarifications and doubts at the end of this session. I will give you um, time. Shirasi Vinihita Ayam Bhakti Namre Bhavatyam Sapaditanubhutastam Unnatim Prapruvanti Madhuripu Padarakshe Yad Vashena Evate Sham Anitara Sulabham Tatdhama Hasta Apacheyam. Now you will ask me how do you experience that bliss or the advantage of rather the prayojanam, the use, use of worshipping the divine sandals. It has to be felt and experienced personally. We cannot explain to you uh, with uh, to each other. If I ask you the difference between the sweetness of honey, sweetness of jaggery, the sweetness of sugar, the, the sweetness of the sweets made up of uh, both uh, milk, pure milk and uh, sugar or jaggery, how can we say, unless you taste them, uh, jangri, jalebi, laddu. So if I, if I want you to give me the difference in theory, how to explain, it is not possible. In the same way, the experience, the personal experience, the personal blissful experience that to come and get by worshipping the divine sandals of Sri Ranganatha, that will speak volumes and volumes, how much advantage that we get. Now, what is the expression of Swami Vedanta Deshika in this 23rd verse? So, what happened? The priest of the temple, the Bhattacharya, we call him, Bhatta has scholar, Acharya, the preceptor, the scholarly preceptor keeps the Shatari on our head. So, Shirasi, on the head, Vinihita Ayam Bhavatyam. Oh, the divine sandals of Ranganatha, Madhuripu Padarakshe. So, Sambodhana Prasamava Bhakti, as we call it, a vocative case, we address the, uh, the author, Vedanta Deshika, addresses the sandals as usual. Madhuripu Padarakshe. So, Madhu, the demon who was to be extirpated and therefore Vishnu is called Madhuripu, the enemy of the demon. And then Padarakshe, so the divine sandals protect the divine feet of Ranganatha. So Madhuripu Padarakshe, oh, the divine sandals of Ranganatha, Bhavatyam Shirasi Vinikitayam. So when you are placed on the head, what type of head? Bhakti namre. All the devotees must lower down their head while they receive the shatari on their head. Bhakti namre. Out of devotion. So they are bowing their head low. They keep their heads low. And I told you already, the karma yoga, the jnana yoga and bhakti yoga are all the disciplines that are to be practiced in order to feel humble towards the Lord. And also we must do prapatti while we we'll do total surrender. While we do total surrender, then we will do shastanga namaskara. That is, um, lie down on the floor with all the limbs touching the uh, ground. Then uh, at least eight limbs 
So here you find that uh, when we are devoted highly and we bow our head very low, then the shatari is placed on our head. So when it is playing, as soon as the shatari is placed on our head, namely the representation of the divine sandals of Sri Ranganatha, sapadi immediately. So what happens to the whom? What happens to whom? Tanubhrataha. We are all the human beings. Tanubhrataha. We have a growing uh, physical frame. If we are young, we call it Tanu. If we are old, we, can call, we call them Shariri. Shariram is decaying body when we become old. When we are young, we call it Tanu. The Tanu is Tanute. It increases. It grows. At least at the, till the age of 25 to 30. So we grow. So Tanu, we are talking about the young persons visiting Sri Rangam temple. Uh, not all the, all the people are old. Tanubhrataha, because they have uh, request, they are requesting to for a better future. The, the younger people, the younger generation. So what happens to them? Immediately on receiving the divine sandals in the form of shatari placed by the priest of the temple, unnatim prapnuvanti. This has been uh, the personal experience of many people like me. And I'll tell you just one example in my case. Because you must have proof. You must have some authority. Now, what do we think when we perform actions? When we perform actions, we think that we are doing it. We are doing our, our activities. Whether it is bad or good, we think that we perform. It is not so. The Lord makes us do. But don't blame the Lord saying that uh, I am made to do commit to bad deeds. No. When uh, I know that there is a bad deed and when I do it, even though I have a discrimination that uh, I know it is a bad deed and I do it, that means I am to blame. Not to blame. You, must, you are not supposed to blame God. Don't say, it is my fate to, to commit a bad deed. No, Talavidi, we say in Tamil, the, the nemesis made me bad man. Nemesis made me do bad deeds. I am a wicked person because God made me wicked. I am born as a demon because God made me to be born as a demon. So don't, you are, we are not to blame because Shastras, uh, by Shastras we can understand that we have the discrimination power. We are able to differentiate between the good and the bad. So once I start doing deeds, so what happened in my life was God gave me the gold opportunity in many times, in many places where I could recite Srimad Ramayanam many times, 23,000 shlokas at least minimum, so the, except the last condom called Uttarakandam in Sanskrit, and also 18,000 shlokas of Srimad Bhagavatam. So I've been going to many places. Lord gave us the rare opportunities for many of us, not all of us. Not, not all of us. We are all of us are devotees, no doubt. You assess yourself as a good devotee. But how many of us got the opportunity to read or recite the, all the verses of in thousands, 23 of Ramayana and 18,000 for, for uh, Mah, Mah, sorry, Bhagavata. Of course, we don't uh, recite uh, Srimad Mahabharatam. It contains one lakh verses with uh, some prose passages also. So we don't do that. Uh, that is, there's a, there's a different story for that. So, but since these uh, two Puranas, namely rather Itihasa, namely Ramayana and Bhagavatam being a Purana, so Ramayana written by Valmiki and uh, uh, Bhagavatam written by Vyasa, 
and it was a conversation between you know the king parish parikshit and shuka the son of vyasa and so on shuka brahmam we call it shuka maharishi we say in the form of a parrot so he repeated the stories of the lord to parikshit and you know uh, what uh, how how parikshit king was uh, affected by a curse and therefore in these two uh, books with regard to these two books i was able to uh, be blessed by the lord to read the bhagavatam and the tamar in the latest instance recently so the lord gave me the uh, right opportunity opportunity chance to the rare chance to recite devi bhagavatam and uh, lord made me choose the uh, book devi bhagavatam and uh, i went to kollu you would have heard about the place mukambika kshetram so we had the fine travel to kollu and then and we were 11 people in a group who came forward to recite devi bhagavat and fortunately the founders of vyomas linguistics lab foundation were met there so how did how did i get the blessing how did i get the blessing and that is because of the greatness of the divine sandals that we worship here in sri rangnath so here so i i got the contact i got their contact i met them in bengaluru and then uh, now i have come to you for explaining the path gosas don't you think that uh, this is a blessing don't you think that uh, of course i am little old older than many of you some might some might, some might not have born uh, before i joined my job so here so what why i say this is so at least in the old age i got the opportunity only 11 were there there were 125 people reciting bhagavat but for devi bhagavatam we were only 11 Uh, understand how uh, god blesses uh, of course we we must of course uh, have a deeper devotion day by day so tanubhrutah sapatitam unnatim prapnuvanti so i have now the uh, blessing of uh, explaining this for the third time the padaka sasram so uh, i have explained to uh, one individual Uh, earlier then two individuals now i am just uh, going through and then now i am talking to try about 22 people so why is it is uh, my my attendance is increasing you no know? so the attendance of the devotees are increasing is increasing so when i started my career as a sanskrit teacher i wanted to tell you just one a personal note is not out of tune so i got the six students in a class and they became let the number became 17 and then the next year the number became 50 so i then the top uh, the rather maximum number was 70 so why is it is it slowly there was increase of the number of uh, people who want to learn uh, sanskrit uh, stotras and many things so here so madhuri pupada rakshe swami deshika wants to call it call the divine dance sandal madhuri pupada rakshe though you can understand that uh, lord anganatha is responsible to make the divine sandals to protect his divine feet he is a supreme supreme power but still normally when we do our activities i just now said we think that we all do our activities by ourselves so uh, so the sandals protect the feet is normal idea 
the feet are not injured they don't get harmed because of wearing shoes and therefore so we have yad vashena eva tesham now what do we expect uh, more from the lord rather the divine sandal and the divine uh, feet so we go to the temple we pray to the lord we pray to the divine feet of the lord we pray to the divine sandals of the lord especially in sri rangam and then by the influence yad vashena eva by the blessings of these divine sandals what happened tesham so who is that tesham t h e i r there tanubhrutam in the second line you have get the word tanubhrata so converted into this vibhakti tesham what you call shakti vibhakti possessive case we are all possessive we are we all we are all selfish we want to be selfish we have to be selfish and then we will have we will have broad mindedness so a little selfishness is also required in us so you go to the temple you pray you pray for yourself then you extend your prayer to your family your friends then you say loka samasta sukino bhavantu the entire world should be happy so initially we get a desire to save ourselves prapta bhilasham tadanugrahan mam so we get a thought that we must get blessings of the lord this verse is from ashtabhujashtakam of sri vedanta deshika so we have an ambition we have a plan to visit a temple prapta abhilasham so we get an ambition abhilasha how tadanugrahan mam that also we get out of your blessing tadanugrahan mam so what do we want to do padmanishevye tava pada padme i want to worship the lotus like feet of the lord padmanishevye why do i worship the divine feet of the lord because already mahalakshmi is there to worship padmanishevye the divine feet of ranganatha are served by mahalakshmi the goddess ranganayika of sri rangam and therefore padmanishevye tava pada padme no how long do you worship the divine feet of ranganatha adeha patat as long as i live adeha patat but what do i do remember the meaning of 22 madiyaha paparashihi my bundle of sins is very big i have a very bag big bag heavy bag of sins so aparadha duram so we may i must go away from committing sins from the beginning of my life that is as a child as a youth uh, and then as an old person so we must try to avoid all bad activities then first we must stop our bad activities then what should we do atman takai karya rasam vidheya oh lord please give me the interest in so first i was interested in worshiping your divine feet that's all and that is because of your blessing now you why want another advantage for worshiping your divine feet namely atman takain karyam so till the end of this life i must do service to you and atma takain karyam it should not be a selfish uh, service i am doing service to the divine vandals the sandals of the lord because of selfishness so i must be happy or to be little some little extension my family must be happy then my friends must be happy my neighbors must be happy my people in the town must be happy so in that way we go on extending our uh, request for protection so atman takain karya but when you do service and we must be in uh, with the sincerity so atmar the atman takain karya rasam vidheya please give me the interest to do 
प्लीज गिव मी द एप्टिट्यूड टू डू दट वॉट वेदांत रिक्वेस्ट द एट हैंड लॉट इन कांचीपुरम टेम्पल इज देर विथ एट हैंड लॉट अट्ट कर इज द नेम ऑफ द लॉर्ड इन अ टेम्पल नियर कांचीपुरम the city in the within the city limits and he says then because of that because of the interest shown by the devotee what happened the four hands of the lord namely shiman narayana became eight hands that's what he says so when he says sharanagata santrana torad vigna bahuna because of the hari the haste the speed in which lord was ready to protect us sharanagata santrana in order to protect our devotee one who has surrendered sharanagata santrana torat by the speed duguna bahuna four hands became eight duguna bahuna four into two eight guna is multiplication duguna is multiple multiply by two so the hands of the lord became eight from four हरिणा वेकटेशीय स्तुति स्वीक्रियता दर्फोर ई वॉन्ट टू वर्षिप विथ अडोरेशन ऑफ दिस पोएम विथ जस्ट एट श्लोका विथ फलश्रुति ऑफ टू श्लोका दैन सो ऐम सो वाट इज द पर्पज ऑफ मै प्रेयर हियर वाट यू कॉल अष्टुजाष्टक श्री वेदांत देश का नेमली द वेलफेर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड वेलफेर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सो हाउ डिड इज एट Prapanna jana paathe yam. We go on a journey. What is the journey for? To surrender. Where to? Ranganathas place temple. So prapanna jana paathe yam. So we get the what we call tiffin packed, the meals packed, the lunch packed for the consumption on the way. So while we travel, we want to have some food. So what is that food now? Our thinking of the service of the Lord. Prapadjan, prapanna jana paathe yam, prapit sunam rasayanam. It becomes a tonic for us, those who want to worship Lord Ranganatha. Now what is the purpose of this poem? Shreya se jagata me tat, the prosperity of the entire world. Shreya se jagata me tat, not to the earth alone, bhumi. Not only India, the whole world. Not only the whole world, but the whole universe. Say yes, say Jagata me that Sri Madhusudan Bhuja Astakam. I adore, I appreciate, I pray to the eight-handed Lord in order that all people will have, live happy. So in the same way, now what do we want from again the Lord? So we want to enjoy all the fruits of this human life. and all the purposes of the human goal namely all the all of you as you know dharma artha kama and moksha so we want to be faithful in our duty so some are murmuring that uh, we are not our doing our duty many people are not doing duty no don't worry about it. so let us at least design that we must do our duty so dharma dharma meaning charity we can be broad minded we can help others we can have a just administration so dharma is just administration dharma dharma is justice we can render justice whenever we are asked to be a judge generally i will tell you this one uh, the many competitions are held in sanskrit uh, shlokas and many children come there and generally is a tendency that uh, female judges will favor the boys and male judges will favor the girls so the impartiality must be there there is no there will be no bias only based on the quality of recitation no one has to be given prize but it is such, uh, what you call there are there is lot of subjectivity in assessment so in that way you must always We must not do injustice to the justice, namely judgment. There should be a correct judgment. Only few judges are capable of doing it, and therefore, so they are unbiased. They are impartial. 
So dharma, artha, in earning money, we must adopt the right means, what you call the righteous means. That was, of course, Mahatma Gandhi's principle that you know already. Uh, some principles of great uh, people should be followed. And uh, they are, what you call, emul to be emulated. emulated. And therefore, so uh, now, uh, then artha, then by uh, earning, we fulfill our um, uh, nice desires, proper desires, admitted desires. Acceptable, acceptable desires, which we learn from our elders. Then, lastly, moksha. Now, Vedanta Deshika, though was not old in age while he composed this Padga Sasram, he also gives us that all the four, uh, among the four purposes of human life, he gives uh, emphasis on the fourth goal of life, namely moksha. It is very impossible for all of us to get very easily. And therefore, it is said, anitara solabham. Solabham, easy. Itara solabham, it is uh, easy for others. Anitara solabham, it is, it is not easy for others to get what? Taddham, that place. What is that place? Vaikuntham. We are going to see how people will like any place to go. So, Taddhama, that place, that position, that elevation, that promotion, that status. So, now what will be? What will, be it, what will it be like? So, Hasta Pacheyam. It is at hand now. It is reachable within our hands. What is reachable within our hands? When we worship the divine sandals of the Lord, which protect the divine feet of Sri Ranganatha, because of its blessing, all those devotees who get the shakari on their heads placed by the priests of the temple of Sri Ranganatha, of Sri Rangam, is uh, the moksha, the last goal of human life, also is nearby, is easily obtainable. So this is how we understand the 23rd verse. Let me recite. Shirasi vinihitaya bhaktinam re bhavatyam sapati danubhrutas tamunnatim prapnuvanti Don't think that uh, we, were, we are all now aiming at moksha. But we are aiming at uh, the lot of promotions in our progresses in our life. In this life. Unnatim prapruvanti. You can experience them uh, in black and white, so personally. And the very fact that we are all living happily, you are all able to attend this session because of many advantages that we got from the Lord as blessings. We are fortunate, we are lucky, we are able to study Paduka Sasram. We can understand the meaning. How do we come to this uh, advantage? So a lot of benefits we are enjoying every day from the more, all the 24 hours, say. For example, you can say even say that there are people who complain that they have sleeplessness. Uh, Alvar said, Veda Noor, Pirayam Noor. If we say that we are living for 100 years, Padiyam Murangippom, Tundradi Pradyarvar said in his Thirumalai that 50 years of life when we are supposed to live for 100 years are spent by sleep. So sleeplessness is what you call insomnia, is like a disease and some people suffer. So we have got a lot of complaints about our life, our progresses, our promotions, our uh, upliftment. So, so when all of all, there are some problems that we face every day, but at the same time, we are, on a, we are in a good position that we must remember, and therefore we must be grateful to the Lord, and all because of His blessings. 
we are happy. So don't say, I am always unhappy. So I have a lot of problems. People say, sometimes they say, they have a lot of problems. And therefore, so let us forget the problem. Let us, of course, try to get the blessings to solve the problems. And we need not go to the fourth goal of life immediately. We say, Dharma, Artha, Kama, these three. If we satisfy according to our consciousness, then we can aspire for the last one, namely emancipation, freedom from birth and death in the cycle. So I think I can go to the next one. And uh, if, yeah, it is already 52. So I got eight minutes more to. So let me recite the uh, last verse of the Paduka Sahasram. Jayati eti raja sukti, jayati mukundasya paduka yugali, taduvaya dhanas trivedi, avandhayanto jayanti bhavisantaha. Please note, Paduka Sahasram was started by the words Santashti ranga prutvisha, charanatrana shekharaha. The first word was Santaha, good people. Good people are supposed to be the lucky priests of the temple who feel themselves as fortunate to be the priests. Because they put their shatari, the shatari on their head initially, and then when they come out of the temple, they hold the shatari on their head. And in future, you are going to see that Vedanta Deshika also wants to have a cap on his head. A turban on his head. A kulla, we say in Tamil, I think. So on the head, and namely the shatari. And we have to meditate upon it and say, feel as though the, the divine sandals are on our head. And uh, Santashti Ranga, that was the beginning. And then Rajadhan Deshika ended, ended it uh, as, ended the Padukasa Sasram as Santaha. Jayanti Bhavisantaha. All those good people are victorious because they follow the statements of Ramanuja Acharya, the greatest preceptor of our times. Jayati Eti Raja Sukti. Jayati Mukundasya Paduka Yugali. Because we uh, read the adoration of the divine sandals. So let them be victorious, meaning. So I am also to be victorious so that I, when I pray to the Lord and Lord's divine sandals. So we will not have failures. Abandhyayantaha. There will be no failure. There will be no setback. There will be no problem in our progress of life. Abandhyayantaha. Jayanti bhavisantaha. So when you keep in your mind so when we follow scripture strictly and when we have in our mind the meditation over the Lord, Ranganatha, the preceptors, the divine sandals and so on, the divine feet and so on, then we will have no failures in that. We will meet with no problems and we will meet with always the successes. Kavita Arki Kesum Hai Kalyana Gunasalini Shimate Venkate Shaya Vedanta Gurave Namaha. Okay. So, any, any, you want to have a discussion or questions, clarifications, you are welcome. We will continue the verse number. Uh, 24 in the next session. So today some new members have come. Uh, welcome to you. Uh, Shiva Shankar. And so we have
Sadhana is there. Uh, I think Shatagovan already attended. And welcome to Ranga uh, Prasad Swami from Bengaluru. I think some of them are familiar uh, names Radhika Vallabhadas, Radha Panikar, and uh, Govinda Rajalu, Janardhanan. Um, so, welcome to Mohan Parsadi Swami again and again. And uh, see Tamil Okay. Some names are new. So, welcome to all of you. I'm happy that at least 27 participants are there. Uh, so, convey your views, uh, give us our feedback by email to Vyoma or in any form. So, let me conclude this uh, session uh, with your permission. And, uh, So how do you feel about it? So would you like to know more about it? Uh, so do you want a deeper explanation? Uh, elaborate uh, commentary do you want? Uh, there are some parallels in Nardwar's statements which I uh, did not uh, use them for the paucity of time. And uh, many preceptors of Vedanta Deshika also said the same idea, echoed the same idea. And therefore, uh, Vedanta Deshika strictly follows the preceptors. So, welcome to Swami Shatagopan. Okay. Satyam Reddy. So let, let us uh, meet uh, tomorrow. I am stopping the share of the screen. So we welcome your views. Yeah. Thanks to the comments of Meenakshi Madam. Uh, somebody is asking, can you include the grammar also? It is a little out of the way, but if, if you want a particular question, I can answer if I know. Uh, so thanks to Shubhashri's uh, feedback. Oh. Riti Sweetman's uh, Sanskrit spelling of Shatari is uh, ending in the short order. Shatari. It is not Shatari. If there are two Shataris, you can say Shatari. Harihi, Hari, Harayaha. So it should be Shatari. Right? So Raja Ram, Raji Ramani, Ramani is asking for uh, including grammar. And that, that takes a lot of time to explain a new vocabulary of Sri Vedanta Deshika is a, is a prolific writer. Prolific writer. So sometimes we don't uh, even know the origin of the uh, word. That, that means we don't find in the dictionary. Radhe Krishna. Namas Sarvebhya. So, you please practice uh, from the beginning, one by one. So, uh, remember at least one verse from Sri Padraka out of 1008. Right. Uh, as as Sri Lata says, divine intervention only makes all this possible. Right. You are quite right. So, we also offer our congratulations for so Shiva Shankar is listening to you from USA, listening to us from USA. 
and it's from 4.30 a.m. to 5.30 a.m. And it's very difficult to get up if the season is uh, cold. Mm. Uh, yeah. Is it, yeah, it is 24. So thanks to Shiva Shankar from USA. Yeah. So we have the other Vedanta Deshika Stotras are also there. And uh, is, uh, we will take up all these Stotras one by one. And uh, Yoma will be sponsoring all these uh, courses. And we, I will be happy to deal with them. So, question and answers. Yeah. Uh, which written edition of the book can we refer? Uh, you write to Vyoma and uh, the Vyoma will give you the uh, address and uh, the availability of the copies. Uh, so now I can show you one copy from Chennai. So this is from the, what we call Sanskrit College, Mailapur. We have uh, Kupuswami Shastri Research Institute, KSRI, from Chennai. And uh, Tastushi in verse number 52, Radhika Vallabhadas is asking the meaning. Tastushi is from the root to star, to stand. Uh, Yamunayaha Tatabhuvi, Tatabhuvi Yamunayaha Tastushi. In the bank of the river, the, the tree stands. Nipa, Nipa Prusha Tastushi is standing. Nipa Shaka. So feminine gender word, Nipa Shaka, the branch of the tree. The branch of the tree cannot uh, stand by itself. Though, and he says, <coughs> grammatically, you will find that Vedanta Deshika is perfect. So you never commits any error. So Nipa Shaka Tastushi, long, long vowel at the end. So it stands as a witness for the stepping on by Lord Krishna with the divine sandals and which may became Shakanu Shakam. It extended all its branches like the scriptural branches. Tastushi is uh, from the root to start to stand. Tishtati we say. Tishtati. That's all. The meaning is Tishtati. Nipa Shaka Tishtati. In the tree called Kadamba stands on the bank of the river Yamuna. Okay, answer live. I think I have answered live. I don't know whether you got it. But thank you so much for. Thank you. Padarakshay in 23. Padarakshay. Yeah, both are same. G. Rajanakshmi asked this question. So. Padarakshe or Padarakshe, according to the rhyming pattern, rather the prosodical rules, according to the Vritta rules, the rules, it will become either heavy syllable or light syllable. Padarakshe or Padarakshe, or one and the same. But it is according to the exigency of the meter. Right. So let me uh, close this. Uh, uh, end the webinar and then we go back to, I mean, we can start our session tomorrow. Thank you so much. So,